All right, welcome gentle gamers. Time for another premiere draft of Crimson Vow. Just going to double check my levels here for a moment. Is the new microphone placement working better? I know I still have noise from the laptop. We are recording. We got levels. Headless Rider. Well, there's a zombie I want for my collection. That's a nice rare pull. Great art. Goes very well mechanically, goes very well with a zombie theme. I've been thinking a lot about The Legend of Sleepy Hollow because, uh, well, I'm a middle school teacher and I kind of feel like Ichabod Crane sometimes. Getting eaten alive by those students out there in the provinces. He wanders the moorlands, hoping to one day chop off a head worthy of replacing his own. So this guy's a 3-1-3 drop. Whenever Headless Rider or another non-token zombie you control dies, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. Oh, this will be nice for my Tasa Karlov deck, which has a little zombie theme going in it because it likes when creatures die. Angelic Quartermaster, put a counter. Got some more zombie effects. I've got a bleed dry, which is pretty darn good removal. Or I've got a blood tithe harvester if I wanted to go into zombies. I mean, into vampires. Well, I feel like Headless Rider. I mean, that's definitely a, a zombie deck. Can you mix zombies and vampires? This guy likes blood tokens. I mean, there's nothing strictly wrong with playing him in a zombie deck. I do want to make that vampire deck in standard, too, so it's a good collection pick. So Blood Tithe Harvester creates a blood token, and he can... Uh, do mean things of the blood token. I like the Rot Tide Gargantua a lot. I've had some good results from that. Or I could get a Bleed Dry, which is good removal. Let's go with the Rot Tide Gargantua. There's a finisher for a zombie deck. Maybe I should have taken the removal. Passed up two of those already. Well, they won't be getting the signal that I'm in black then. Desperate Farmer, pretty cool, Blood Sworn Squire. Oh, this guy gains indestructible and transforms. Likes it when there's cards in the graveyard. Or do I just want a Desperate Farmer? He likes it when people die. This guy seems a little bit harder to get to work. Not interested in discarding a card to get indestructible. And I feel like having a lot of cards in the graveyard in order to get big is hard to pull off. So I'm going to just go with the Desperate Farmer I know. That four lifelinker can go a long way to swing the game, swing a race. Rock Tide Gargantua, I've had some real fun with this guy and Necro Duality. So the Blood Tide with Harvester, you have to sacrifice him to take out a creature. And it's twice the number of blood tokens you control. A Braid is a really good card if I'm in red. Belligerent Guest if I'm in Vampires. Oh, and they create a blood token whenever they deal damage. That synergizes with the Blood Tithe Harvester. Leave me a comment if you think I'm foolish not to be going with the removal 
I think I want the gift of fangs here. Now I finally got some of that good removal in black and remove anything with two toughness or less as long as it's not a vampire. Or it can give an unholy strength to my vampires. Vampire zombie deck in black red. We'll just see how this draft unfolds. I bet there's some way I can put a towel over the laptop and muffle that fan. Lamhold Rack on Tur. Likes it when I cast non creature spells. Flame Blessed Bolt. That's a shock. What do I want here? The socialite? The statuette? That's kind of fun whenever you sacrifice a blood token, but I think I might want the socialite. Yeah, it creates a, a blood token when it ETBs. So I just plop down my uh, sweatshirt to see if that helps to muffle the sound. I think it does a little. Might keep it warmer, though. Pirate spawn, we like it when things die. Bloody betrayal creates a blood token. Vampire's Kiss also creates a blood token. Do they have a lot of life gain synergies? I think I might like the Bloody Betrayal better. Four point swing versus whatever the Bloody Betrayal can get me. Maybe I have a sacrifice outlet show up. Doom to center, I like to sacrifice things. Yeah, that's just a vanilla menacing werewolf. Not totally vanilla, I guess. Zombies? Or do I want to pump up a creature when they ETB? I think I like the phalanx, and just in case I draw that catapult guy. Is there a collection pick here? Can I reach the alt key in time? Oh, that'll get me some vault rewards. Already getting the vault rewards. Hullbreaker Horror. Well, that's a cool thing to have if I'm in blue-black, but I... Oh, I'm not in blue-black. And I don't want to splash in. Soul Cipher board, three omen counters. Look at top cards in my library, put one in the graveyard. I think I might just want to get... Oh exploit I wasn't thinking about how I can cast bloody betrayal and then exploit well that might not have been the best pick there I might have rushed that one but we'll see how we feel blood vial purveyor oh so he likes it when my opponent has blood tokens but he's also just kind of a gnarly body for four flying trample five six You will give your opponent a lot of blood tokens with that. Now the Lambholt Rack on Tur is a werewolf. Not the best synergy. Do I want to do Vampire's Kiss? That creates two blood tokens. I think I might have read that card wrong before. And I know we have some blood token synergies. Now Blood Tithe Harvester is real nasty removal and I got a bunch of blood tokens out. So we got ourselves a little black-red vampire deck going. Wouldn't it be cool if I drew one of the bombs like Olivia? In pack three. I guess we've already seen pack two. 
leave me a comment if you think that uh, putting my sweatshirt on the laptop has improved the sound by cutting down on noise from the fan in my laptop. Parasitic Grasp seems like the ticket here. Three damage to target creature, gain three life. I like the gain three life part of that. Removal that adds insult to injury. Please do leave me a comment if you're an audio person and you uh, have any advice for me about how to get better sound on these recordings. I'm thinking about experimenting with doing the uh, the game sound because I would like to hear the music that they play. Okay, Courier Bat likes it when I gain life. Whoops, I didn't mean to double click, but oh, that is a really nice flavor choice. Edgar's Awakening. A Braid is, I think, better at this point. I want creature removal. I want destroy the occasional artifact. A braid's a mean, mean card, and I'm not sure about Edgar. I, uh, I'm generally and limited not too impressed with stuff that gets things out of my graveyard. For some reason, I haven't been able to make that work very well without without having a whole lot of synergy or a whole lot of uh, stuff that works with that. Runed Bound Wolf, number of wolves you control. Transform if you discarded. Oh, but here's create a blood token vampire. Just go with that. Leave me a comment if you think I should have taken the uh, blood servitor over the Voldaren Epicure, but I like create a blood token for one. Into the night, I don't care if it's night. Pointed discussion creates a blood token. Oh, excess damage and create blood tokens. I think I want draw cards and create blood tokens, but oh gosh, that's a tough one. Or do I want the fire breather? That might not have been the best pick. I might have wanted the fire breather there. But pointed discussion gives me draw. Draw that creates blood token. So it's draw plus an option to loot. Oh, so Guardian Paladin, good pick for the uh, collection if I didn't like Vampire's Kiss so much. Vampire's Kiss I'll be tempted to play in my Dina and Tesa Karlov decks. Blood Fountain or Blood Crazed Socialite? It just creates a blood token. I think I want another four drop body. I only have three four drops at this point. What's going to be in pack three? Want to make them discard or do I want the blood fountain? I'll take the blood fountain just in case I decide to play it. What's going to be in pack three? I still got a couple of cards left in pack two. Wedding invitation. That likes vampires. Dorothea is no help. Oh, bummer. Bummer pack. Another flame bless bolt. That's another shock. Or do I want another curve topping rot tide gargantua? Yeah, I guess my win con, I guess. Mischievous Geist, Edgar's awake. Oh, once again, nothing good for me. And the rares and uncommons in pack three. Pick two. When this creature dies. 
I guess that's a decent trick. Or do I want persistent specimen because I've got a couple of exploit things. Maybe I'll get some more. Bleed dry is the pick here. Once again, just, ah, oh, slim pickings. It lets me draw a card. I don't think it's worth it. Leave me a comment with your opinion of the wedding invitation card. Point of discussion, maybe not. Maybe not play two of those. Do I want all those one drops? Wandering Mind is a neat card that I might just take for my collection. I think I already have one. No, I want Falcon Wrath Celebrants. I want Curve Toppers. I want to make the... Uh, do I want one fewer Gargantua? No, I just won't play the Phalanx because I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the stuff to go with it. Maybe I'll play one fewer Gargantua. Now the Voldaren Epicure deals a damage, creates a blood token. Oh goody. Hero's Downfall is the best call card I could have pulled out of commons here. That really improves the deck. Now I have some premium removal, unconditional. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Point of discussion I might remove. I feel like I'd rather just draw some of those good cards and have to pay mana to draw more. Now Kessig Flame Breather. I'm going to cast my share of non-creature. I think I want more three drops. It's more of a creature-based deck, not a spells deck. Desperate Farmer, two of those will give me lots of life, Link, and, and my creatures are dying. I'm going to be sacking the Persistent Spaceman. Persistent Spaceman keeps coming back, and you can uh, exploit, and I got my exploit guy. Do I want another Spaceman? Courier bat, I've got a few ways of gaining life. Blood drink guess for the blood tokens. Now, should I be sharpening this deck in some way and cutting out the zombie synergy or something? Blood servitor creates a blood token. If I want to take out the zombies, I just feel like those zombies are so good. Flame Bless Bolt, another shock. Cool to have two of those. I think I'll take out one of the spacemen. Target creature or planeswalker. It's too bad I can't do it to the face of my opponent with my flame blessed bolt. I don't think I want four of those. I've got some other real good removal. Maybe I'll just go down to one. Lacerate flesh is removal with blood token synergies. Do I take out one of the rot tide gargantuas. I have three, four drops, and uh, yeah, I have a lot of five drops now. I don't know if I want more than four. I think I'll take one rot tide gargantua out. Why did I just take them both out? Put it back in. 
Blood Servitor, it costs three. I'd rather have a vampire. Though I don't have a lot of vampire synergies, I was disappointed not to get the vampire lord or lady. A vampire's kiss creates two blood tokens, that's pretty cool. Don't have as much blood token synergy as I wish. I think the Voldaren Epicure just doesn't do enough. Leave me a comment if you think that was a mistake. And we got ourselves a deck. Let's try it. I've been wanting to try vampires. This isn't uh, a deck with a vampire bomb, but... Uh, well, it's going to be better than nothing. Let's do our first match. Then I'm going to end the video because I don't want it to glitch out. And apparently with the software I'm using, I can only record short videos. Archer Master. That reminds me of the 16th century Magus Dr. John D. Who uh, had a thing about uh, Archimastery, which was uh, supposedly this master science. Now I can't use Gift of Fangs as removal. I could do Flame Blessed Bolt. Which is exactly the card I was holding up, and they don't get any kind of graveyard shenanigans. I've got a belligerent guest and a blood crazed socialite on the way. Oh, and I'll be creating blood tokens when I deal combat damage. Maybe I'll put the gift of fangs on her. So I guess I'll cast Lacerate Flesh on that guy. Hopefully I draw land, otherwise I could uh, steal him. Oh, did you have Menace? No, you got Trample. I could steal him with Bloody Betrayal. Do a whole bunch of damage. Then kill him the next turn. Speak of the devil. Lacerate flesh. I don't know if that was the play. Well, now I've got another guy. Oh, and here's Blood Vile Purveyor. I guess we're trading. Not sure why they gave me the choice there. So you can use that blood token if you want. I'm even gonna be hitting with a flying trampling vamp. Better not block him. So hopefully I draw land here. And look at what we find. Six, 
So many blood tokens. So little time. So they're going to be forced to tie up their mana in sacrificing blood tokens. If they've got cards they can afford to discard. I'm going to have so many blood tokens on the board it's going to be nuts. I suppose I shouldn't be happy about giving them so much draw. Well, that was a nerve-wracking game. Good game. And there is my first Vampire Rakdos win. I will see you in the next episode.